Hey, welcome back. This is Paramedic Project and thanks for joining us once again. Uh, today I want to talk about our first skill. And uh, I thought it'd be great to start with intravenous cannulation. This is a skill that everybody's intimidated by when they start out. Uh, it's invasive, it's putting a needle in someone's hand. It's always difficult. It's important, I think, that uh, we realise uh, this is as much about adult skill acquisition as it, as it is about the actual IV cannulation. And I think uh, as adults we forget that when we learn something completely new, completely from scratch, there's always a period in that skill acquisition where we suck at the skill. Even the world's best IV cannulator was bad at doing it when they started out. It's important for all of you to realise that. And uh, during that period of badness, just sit with it, keep going back for more, and uh, try and get as much practice in as possible. Eventually you'll improve. That's a really good point. The second point is uh, I think the, the goal that everybody should be shooting for is consistency with this skill. It's not about thinking, oh, I want to be able to throw a 16 gauge in the back of someone's hand. This is really about consistency. We want to consistently be able to get good IV access on all patients, on a whole age range, whole weight range, all across the board, every patient we, we want to be able to get IV access on. So that's the goal you should be aiming for. And uh, I think to really shoot for that consistency, my biggest tip is that when we practice the skill, we practice the skill in its entirety. Now, putting the actual needle in someone's hand is about midway along in the skill. Before that comes equipment setup, and after that comes securing the actual cannula and flushing the cannula. And for mine, you can't secure and flush the cannula well unless you have meticulously prepared your equipment. That includes your PPE, your glasses, your gloves, your, your sharps container. So they're my two big tips. Stick with it when you're bad and aim for consistency. And to do that, when you practice the skill, prepare everything from go to woe. So thanks for joining us once again. This has been Paramedic Project. Find us on social media. We'll see you next time.